All right. All right, we're at the weekly decomposition stakeholders stand up. And we'll start with the sharding team updates. So biggest update is that the phase four production rollout was delayed due to conflicts. Uh, it was scheduled to start last Wednesday. Um, then it was discovered there were some conflicting ongoing deployments. Um, and then we had friends and family day. Uh, so it was planned for, so it got pushed back a week. It was planned for uh, early Wednesday APAC, um, but uh, SRE who, or DBRE who uh, Dylan was working, planning to work with and who has the most context here to help out was was sick. So um, yeah, so now it's planned for, for the next day. Uh, Dylan has a, a pretty comprehensive update there that I linked to, but uh, just to summarize, he thinks it's still better to wait for uh, Rafa to be available than to try to ramp up another DBRE on the work. Um, I do wonder, I have an open question in that thread about um, to, to Dylan and anyone else who has opinions just uh, for future steps, I, I know that we kind of talked about phase four as probably being the last really involved uh, item, but um, but I do want to get a sense of uh, even if, if the future like phases are smaller steps, if we still want to just try to make sure that we get a couple people uh, uh, ramped up on that to, to help out just in case we run into any of these availability issues. Um, any thoughts on that? Yeah, the main the main concern there is um, right now we're operating on like really really narrow bandwidth with the team, and uh, that 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 is basically um, the challenge not only for the decomposition but all the other teams that are relying on the reliability and the DBRD efforts currently. I mean. Um, it's a good thing that the future phases are not going to be very involving. In fact, uh, I do have already Nathan and Jose working on the phase seven preparation for, for, the, uh, for the switch over and stuff like that. And yeah, uh, I think already we have two there, but looking at priority, we should prepare. If we find room to, to accommodate that, by all means, we, we, we should try to, to do that. But only that in this current situation is. Um, we are just stretched across the, the entire engineering org that is uh, depending on the reliability. But if any case, this case continues, uh, we should be able to see who else can jump in and try to fast track uh, on those efforts. Sounds good. Yeah, I appreciate the, uh, the context, I think. Yeah, I think for this phase four uh, rollout, we're yeah just kind of waiting on uh, Rafa's availability now. And I think that's OK not to worry about um, ramping anyone else up. And, and so, yeah, we can uh, follow up async and just see what Dylan thinks about um, help for the future phases. But yeah, to your point about Jose and Nathan working on um, the um, working on the database layer yeah that's uh, appreciate the 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 continued work on that and um and, and i think that is yeah we're certainly uh it's good to be looking ahead to that um I, I do think we'll have to see um how this affects our timeline i think uh at least the last i was looking at uh phase four was scheduled to have already been completed at this point we should have been like we should be in phase five and six which we kind of are doing like we're working towards uh validation of of the process um but uh but we did want to leave time for phase four to like be rolled out in production to see if there were any needed follow-ups so we we may still discover some things that that push that back so i'm, I'm not i don't have an idea of what that <laughs> revised timeline might be but i think it's something we'll we'll work to understand in the next week yeah and i note too we're on shortened week we had family and friends day and then most of australia i'd say it's probably the same for dylan and rafa but they're probably both off friday and monday so we really only get one more day out of them this week because it's their Thursday. <laughs> so um, I'll, they'll do what we can. I expect Rafa will be back today. Um, he just gotten his booster, so he was feeling off <laughs> and couldn't work. So, I, but it's one of those. Let's you know everybody who's done that has been out one day and then they're like, I'm back to normal the next day. So I think I think he'll be okay. 
um and able to be around but yeah no I agree with Ken like we just we don't I don't have anybody to back him up <laughs> prior to hiring Rafa we had nobody as a DBRE in Australia so yeah. it to me it was a net improvement um but thanks for the note Nick because it, it's good to know like there's still asks there um but yeah it's it's really just balancing who's working on what critical thing and we'd have to turn off one critical thing to turn on another um but I do have my one-to-one -one with Rafa my afternoon his Thursday morning so I'll make sure to note that like try to sync up with Dylan um cool yeah yeah appreciate it and yeah I hope uh so certainly uh <laughs> health health first right and I know that uh yeah Australia's um I think seeing seeing uh, an increase in cases so um Cool. Uh, yeah, other updates. Uh, yeah, just uh, more on the development side. Um, we're going to require all migrations to be written with decomposed databases in mind. So there's an announcement from Camille about that and a, a docs MR that's in progress. Um, we're also just review, starting to review the list of follow up issues, um, see what we can close and what's still relevant. So uh, I think since I wrote that update, Dylan has already gone through and, and examined a lot of those issues and, and pinged authors on those. Um, and then uh, Camille did an analysis and uh, of just the all the QA tests and, and the endpoint coverage and confirmed that it is indeed pretty low. Um, and so he uh, just right before this wrote a pretty good summary of some some potential next steps to kind of zoom in on what uh, what sorts of uh, tests and coverage would um, would be the most impactful, at least for the decomposition efforts. Um, so uh, have, we'll follow up with um, with Kiwi on that and, and see if we can get some help. And I think uh, kind of to your point about uh, <laughs> some more more days off with, uh, I think a, a lot of folks will be with uh, Easter as a holiday for a lot of people on Monday. I, I see that there's gonna be a lot of uh, PTO that day. And then I think, um, and then others are taking the full week off. So I uh, wanna just see um, see how we can help keep, keep those types of things moving to, to stay ahead of phase seven. Um, Cool. Yeah, I don't see any ops related updates. Um, the, I guess I can provide a little update about the uh, CI owned runners work. Um, the MR that we were talking about last week was was merged. So I think we still need to follow up on the, the ultimate solution or the, the longer term solution, but uh, it, it may not, I, I mean, uh, we certainly want to get their input, but um, maybe with these changes that uh, Camille had worked on, um, it, it may not be as urgent as, as May 22nd. Cool. And then uh, uh, I, oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I will follow up with them on the some and share on the ultimate solution. So I have one one with Sam today. So I will uh, just bring to his attention. We need that. Cool. Uh, thank you. And then yeah, and then I just added a item about provisioning the the QA environment here for uh, for infra. Um, and yeah, you I think you talked about that a little already, Ken. Um, yeah. Any anything else uh, to to mention there? Oh, they are facing uh, pulling upstream issues on the shelf. Um, looks like Nathan is investigating that further, and uh, Jose already updated the latest uh, ET on that. One. So I I'll continue keeping an eye, ensuring that um, if there are any blockers, they are unblocked as fast as as soon as possible. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Sir. Appreciate that. And I don't think we have. Uh, any other blockers to discuss? All right, and I don't think we have any new sharding blocker issues. Okay, uh, I think think that does it for the standup then. Uh, thanks everyone. Cool. Good thanks. day. Good job.